Welcome to this tutorial on creating PD patches, pure data patches for the organelle. We're just going to hop in and create a patch from scratch to see what's involved. Now this isn't meant to be an in-depth tutorial on PD in general, and we have a link to a good tutorial you should probably check out if you're new to PD to learn about how to build stuff in PD. But even if you're a PD expert, there's some good things to know about creating patches specifically for the organelle. So we'll just hop right in and see what's involved. In this setup, we have an organelle with audio output and an HDMI monitor connected. This can be any TV or computer monitor with HDMI. On the side, we have a USB drive with the patches, and we also have plugged in a USB wireless mouse keyboard combo. And these are really convenient because it only uses one USB port. <clears throat> so when you boot this setup up, we come to this graphical or this command prompt and we need to type start x to start the graphical display. It's really a simple desktop where we have a USB drive and a terminal down here for typing commands in. And over here we have a red button that will exit the graphical display and drop you back into that command prompt. So let's take a look at the USB drive. In here we have the patches folder and inside is the empty patch, the one patch that we have installed, just an empty patch. It turns out that the easiest way to make a new patch on the organelle is just to copy an existing patch. To do this, we'll right click and choose copy and then we'll just paste it right back in the same window. And we'll call it my first patch and rename it. Now on the organelle, we have to select reload and we see empty patch and my first patch. Let's take a look at the my first patch. Inside here we have one file called main.pd and at a minimum your patch needs this one main.pd file. When you load the patch on the organelle it'll attempt to load that file main.pd. We might be tempted to double click here and open it but the better thing to do is to close this window and open it using the organelle itself. So we click my first patch there and the organelle launches the patch. The reason we want to open it using the organelle is that the organelle will load all the correct MIDI and audio configurations and it will also load this mother patch alongside your patch. So we have three windows here. We have the mother patch, we have main.pd which is our patch, and then we have the PD status window. We're going to talk about the mother.pd patch in the next video, but this basically provides a link between the hardware of the organelle and your patch. So you have to always have this window open. We can minimize it, but it always needs to stay open. Then in our patch, we want to make the simplest possible patch, which might be just an oscillator. We'll make the oscillator object with a frequency of 440 hertz. And in any other PD tutorial, they will probably say connect this to the output, connect the output of the oscillator to this DAC object, which will send the output to your computer speakers. But on the organelle, we want to actually use the throw object. So we're going to throw it onto the out L or the out left bus. And the corresponding catch object is in the mother patch. And the reason we use the throw object instead of the DAC object is so that the mother patch can control the overall output of your patch. So if we connect these and then go to the organelle and turn up the volume, we see some activity on the VU meter. If we were to use the DAC object and not the throw object, we wouldn't be able to control the, the volume using the volume control in the organelle, and we also wouldn't see the output volume on the VU meter. There's a corresponding out L, out R channel, so throw out R for right. And now when we connect these, we see output on both right and left sides. This is about the most simple patch you could make in PD, and we'll just save it. And at this point, we're ready to shut down the graphical display. 
by clicking this red button down here. This drops us back into that command prompt, which is the default boot up mode. And we can just choose my first patch from the organelle. And we have our, our oscillator. This is about the most basic patch you could make with the organelle.